Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for October. So this could happen at any time in October. Again, it's for October, okay? It's for October. And this reading may or may not be for you, okay? So what do we have for Virgo? We got three cards. We're going to go ahead and take them. Moon. Mm. Changes in your life. So there's going to be some changes in your life, Virgo. Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. So there's going to be a chain of events that affect your life. Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. And the arrows typically move pretty fast. So there's going to be a chain of events that affect your life. It's going to be a big change. And it's probably going to happen fast. So something is happening fast. Mm. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo? The chain of events that will affect your life. And if these, whatever, whatever these events are, it's going to bring big change. It's unseen. You know, the moon is an unclear and difficult path ahead. All is not as it seems. Something is about to change. It's going to be an event. Mm. What do we have for Virgo? <laughs> doesn't want responsibility so you got somebody here that does not want responsibility <clears throat> Ooh, bad timing so maybe somebody didn't want responsibility in the past I don't know but there's something to do with bad timing here doesn't want commitment. So there's somebody here that doesn't want commitment. Five, 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 expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change in a very big way. Fives are about major life changes, major life choices, okay? Um, expect the unexpected. Your life is definitely about to change. Maybe you're getting yourself into a commitment and you weren't looking for it. Maybe you weren't looking for responsibility. I mean, this can go many, many, many different ways. I feel like there's some sort of bad timing here, but things are going to change. It's not your... It's, you know, before I started this re reading, I did see the Wheel of Fortune. So that is always changing. Life is always changing. Spinning in a new direction. This is fortunate. Okay, you're, you're going in a new direction. And I don't. I feel like it's destined. It's, it's, and you know, they always say free will plays a part. And it does to an extent. But I feel like the wheel is spinning you in a new direction. I totally see that. Expect the un expect some unexpected changes. Let's get one of these. No, we're gonna use the angel romance first. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. Oh, well, there it is. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So financial issues are a factor in your love. Maybe you're focusing on everything but love. You know, you're focusing on your bank account. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your job. You're focusing on your business. 
You're focusing on your career. It may not be the right time to focus on anything but that, right? On the bottom of the deck, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I feel like you are in, also in the process of forgiving and learning. And sometimes when we have had something painful happen to us, we do go into hermit mode and we focus on everything but love. So that could be what, what has been happening for you. Maybe you haven't really wanted a commitment or you really haven't wanted responsibility. It's not the right time, but whatever is happening, things are about to change, okay? So this is pretty interesting. Let's get one of these. Strength, strength. So it looks like we, you have a lot to be proud of. It looks like you've overcome some hurdles. I think that you're in a very beautiful place. I think that you've done a lot of healing. You're still healing. You're probably uh, putting out some very good positive energy. This is a card of grace and tact and inner beauty and inner strength and uh, restraint. I think that you're showing a lot of... Um, inner strength. I think you're vibrating at a very high level as well. Um, you could also be dealing with a Leo. You know, the, car the strength card is a card of letting go of fear. You know, you may have to let go of some fear. and allow and allow things, you know, don't force anything, you know, just allow things to happen. There's some sort of gentleness here about you. Okay. There's something about you that I think people are drawn to. I don't know if it's your gentle nature or something like that. All right, let's get started. I decided to use this deck for you. There's going to be a change in your life. Big one by the looks of things. I feel like you need to be strong. You need to have courage. Have courage at this time. You're going to need courage. You are. You're going to need to uh, allow. I want to say allow. Don't, you know, I, I feel like you might try to restrict. You may try to re restrict something. Have faith. Have faith. Don't, don't let fear get in the way. I feel like you're, you, you need to allow. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want commitment and you need to allow it. If they don't want commitment, let them go. Strength is a card about letting go. It really is. <laughs> the hermit. Going within. Re-identifying yourself. Soul searching. So that's probably what you've been doing. This is where you are right now. You've been soul searching, re-identifying, going within, reflecting, reflecting on your past, reflecting on your future, thinking a lot, maybe planning, you know, doing some, some planning, you know, going through a spiritual awakening, becoming consciously aware of who you are at this time in your life. You may have been retreating from the world going through a period of healing by the looks of things. Maybe some of you have chosen to be alone or you've been alone or you're going to be going within and reflecting. That's your card, which is Virgo. Seven of Swords on top of it. This is planning. 
It is planning. So I feel like you have been planning. I feel like you've been trying to reason with things. I feel like you are... I think you're doing a lot of thinking. I wonder, I feel like you've been deceived. I don't know if you've been cheated or lied to or stolen from or obviously deceived, betrayed. Um, and I feel like you've been planning. You've been planning your next move. Maybe you've been planning to beat the enemy at their own game you know you're always thinking right you're always thinking how can I stop this from happening how can I how can I stop it you know I'm protecting myself I feel like you are protecting yourself I feel like you've dealt with somebody that is very conniving okay very very cunning very very clever and I feel like you've been really trying to uh, think about how you can be anybody or even them in the future you know it's like that's never gonna happen again I'm never gonna let that happen again I do feel like um, you're be go going through a spiritual awakening you're uh, it feels like you're in, in planning mode you're in planning mode you're you're in protection mode you are you're never going to let that happen again. I feel like you've been cheated. You know, whatever you've been cheated from, you've been cheated. And you, some of you could be realizing something about somebody. Maybe you're realizing, seeing the truth with that hermit card. There's something about cheating here. World card. Death reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. The moon, now we have the moon twice, six of swords, ten of pentacles, ace of wands, upright. So you have something exciting that is coming your way. It's a new desire, it's a new spark, it's a new flame, it's a match. Um, and then the queen of swords, the queen of swords is a new perspective. You're gaining a new perspective you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like you're dealing, you're, you, I don't know if you've been cheated. There's another, there's a woman here that is very deceptive. That is, uh, I don't know if it's a narcissist, uh, queen of wands reverse. It's another woman. Okay. It's another woman. It's usually the other woman. It's somebody who cheats. There is somebody here that cheats there. And if it's not a woman, it could be a man. There's somebody here that is, fly by the seat of their pants they don't think before they act they um drama queen drama queen uh there's a drama queen here aries leo sagittarius you also have scorpio you have pisces cancer and then you have libra gemini aquarius you do have a major completion of a cycle you're going to be leaving something behind. You're stepping into a new existence. I feel like you somebody came into your life to teach you a lesson. This person is a know-it-all. You have somebody here that is a know-it-all. Uh, this person doesn't respect others, uh, is very, very forceful, uh, doesn't tell the truth. Um, male or female, uh, has no staying power, very cocky, very egotistical, very, very smug. Uh, very controlling. Uh, I feel like you have somebody here that has really, really deceived you. And I feel like it's made you feel less than confident. I feel like you've you've lost your self-esteem or you had. You may, be, you may be dealing with some competition. Somebody's been competing with you. Uh, this person isn't telling the truth, doesn't tell the truth, doesn't want to give up control. There's somebody here that doesn't want to give up control. I feel like you're ending a cycle with an individual that, I don't know if this is a cheater or a liar or a thief. This person has no intentions of... Uh, being honest and truthful. 
I feel like you've been holding on. You maybe you've because in the past we have the death card reversed. It's like holding on. You can't do this anymore. A change is needed. You're dealing with somebody that is very impulsive that may act hysterical at times. I wonder if this person is losing their mind. You know, they're losing their mind. They do something crazy, and you know it removes them from your life. I mean, I don't know if that's the case, but there is a woman here. There is a woman here that it feels like she's she's not a, a happy camper. She's not, she has a negative mindset. She's very uh, pessimistic. She's uh, she may think that she has all. She's a know-it-all. She has all the skills. She thinks that she's that strong. She's she's very very forceful. You know, this is somebody who thinks that. It's either it could be a male because it's a, uh, this is a the Queen of Wands. This is a masculine energy, so it's a male or female. This is somebody that is uh, conceited, entitled. Um, you are ending a cycle with this person. I wonder if this person's gonna get caught doing something. They're going to get caught doing something. There's definitely lies here. There's something that is hidden. Somebody is hiding something. They may be, they may be even scamming or spying or, you know, uh, has, may have something to do with, I want to say social media. I don't know where. I don't even see that, but I want to say that. I feel like we got somebody here that is doing something behind the scenes and they're going to get caught. All is not as it seems. Something is hidden. It is going to be revealed. The truth is going to come out. So I don't know how that relates to you. I also feel like somebody is headed in your direction with that Six of Swords. I feel like you are being told to move on. There is somebody that is like coming to your rescue. Okay. I feel like there's somebody that can help you get to a better place. Maybe this has to do with moving. Could be a home, moving into a new home, or there could be somebody that's coming to your home that's coming to protect you. I feel like there is some sort of protection here. We have the Ten of Pentacles right above the Six of Swords. Okay. I feel like your environment is the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, that's, that's like, it has something to do with the home. It has something to do with the family. It has to do with a relationship. Um, stability, stable, solid, home life, business, you're, whatever is happening, I feel like you are, I feel like there, for some of you, you're moving to a better place or somebody's moving in with you. There is somebody that is, that is coming towards you that uh, is very honest, is very, very truthful. This person uh, is coming is some sort of, I don't know if this person is a professional speaker or they're in, they are in some sort, they have a, this is a professional. There's a professional here that is going to be helping you. They're going to help you in some way. You do have, I mean, you do have the end of a cycle here with this world card. This is a major completion of a cycle. It's the end of things. It's the end of a journey. It is with a person. It feels like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Because it's mirroring this world card. This is victory. It's the end. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end. It's the lesson you learn. You're le you, this person came into your life to teach you a lesson. It has. It brought you through this spiritual awakening that you've gone through. And the middle card is the hermit. Okay. It made you reflect on who you are. It built your character. It made you into the person that you are today. But now you have to release it, okay? You need to accept the truth. And I do believe you're going to be the the outcome card is the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords is the is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing is, uh, but the truth. This is a new perspective. 
So I do believe you are gaining a new perspective. I also feel like you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision. I feel like you have a new exciting opportunity here that is coming to you. This could be a new sexual partner or it's a new home or it's a new endeavor. It's a new direction. And you're going to have to choose whether you want to go in that new direction or not. I do see the advice is the Six of Swords, which is moving on. Leave this troublesome situation behind. Just go. Just go. You may you may be just focused on your business. You're focused on your money. You know, you're focused on everything but love because it's like there's no love in these cards. But I feel like you are... Uh, You need to accept and allow. If somebody wants to leave, let them go. Let them go. I also feel like there's there obviously there's going to be a chain of events with this person. There's somebody here that is out of control. They're out of control. They, I don't know if they have some addictions or... What? I feel like there's some sort of addictions. I feel like this person is going to get caught. Whatever it is that they're doing, they're going to get caught. This, whoever this queen of wands, right under the doesn't want commitment card. This is somebody that just wants you know, sex on the run, you know. They don't want a commitment. They don't, they want to be able to do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it. They may be coming back around to cause problems, to cause trouble. I do see that with the Six of Swords. That's, that's leave this trouble person behind. There is, and this may have to do with, if it's not you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. You are going to be receiving an exciting opportunity. It's like the seed has already been planted to go in a new direction. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be truthful with yourself. You need to open yourself up. I feel like some of you have chosen to be single. You've chosen to be independent. You've been protecting yourself out of fear. Let go of your fear. Open yourself up. Somebody really needs to hear that. Open yourself up. Let go of your fear. Be open-minded. I feel like for some of you, you have a new flame here. You know, somebody is interested in you. This is somebody that is stable, that does want commitment. But I feel like there's fear here because of somebody that, I don't know if they used you or they lied to you. They cheated on you. They, uh, very deceptive. But the cycle is ending with this person. I was going to get a card to go with that Queen of Wands. What's going on with that Queen of Wands reversed? Hmm. Eight of Wands reversed. Trying to block. Guilty. Jealous. Four of Cups reversed. This person is trying to block somebody from taking a new opportunity. This is a narcissist. You got a narcissist here. I also feel like you have somebody here that is going to be communicating with you. This is for somebody, this is completely different. That has not been communicating with you. This is somebody that has been afraid. They have been afraid. They've been afraid of commitment. They've been afraid of intimacy. So there is somebody here that is looking for a relationship. They want to have a relationship with you now. There is somebody here that is looking for a relationship. They're going to be expressing feelings for you. I feel like this is somebody that has probably been thinking about their future, just like you have. 
This person has been in a dead-end situation. They may be completing a cycle with a narcissist. They may be completing a cycle with somebody that was controlling them. That was blocking them. Expect the unexpected. You're going to be receiving an offer from somebody. And it is somebody that wants to have a relationship with you. I know it. And you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. You have to be open-minded. Be optimistic. Be logical. I feel like this could lead to long term. This could be this could lead to a marriage. I mean, it could with the 10 of pentacles. It could lead to a long-term commitment, but there's fear. I feel like a lot of you are going to be you're afraid. You may be afraid of commitment as well. You know, whoever you're dealing with that is coming in is afraid of commitment too. So this is a big month. It is a big month. It is. There is a chain of events that affect your life. There is somebody here that is uh breaking free from a cycle they uh, have been thinking about you a lot they've been watching you from behind the scenes this person is very interested they've been afraid maybe even intimidated they're going to be communicating with you they see your beauty they're very attracted to you there is also a narcissist here okay there is a narcissist here. And maybe it's their person. Maybe that's who they're breaking free from. There's also fear. Okay? This person is just as scared as you are. They are. But they're going to be coming in your direction. And this may change your living situation with that Ten of Pentacles, but it could lead to long-term success, permanent, something permanent. There's definitely going to be uh, some chemistry. A lot, I think there already is. I think you know who this person is. Good luck.